Good morning and happy Sunday. We are already starting to feel those effects of the changes that we're seeing with that rain and snow and cooler temperatures. We currently have a couple of weather alerts across the region that go into effect later today. Areas in tan, a wind advisory goes into effect at 7. A winter storm warning also goes into effect at 7 p.m. tonight for areas in pink. A winter weather advisory goes into effect at 1 p.m. this afternoon for areas in purple. We are seeing a little bit of a lull in that precipitation, taking a look at future track radar. However, out on the weather patio, it was still lightly misting, but on the backside of that rain that we had moved through last night, we have some snowfall, as you can see, off to our west. And outside right now, definitely not the nicest looking day on our loose and auto live cameras. Uh, you can see reduced visibility over CC Heights. Can't even see the downtown skyline of Rochester and definitely kind of gloomy out there. Can see those wet roads as well. Temperatures and wind chills right now in the teens, 20s, and some 30s as well to start out our Sunday morning. Wind speeds and gusts already seeing some gusty conditions with gusts in Mason City up to 33 miles per hour. Northwood up to 22 miles per hour. Sustained winds here in Rochester at 22 miles per hour. For today's forecast, a high of 34 degrees, overcast and cold with those rain and snow showers. Winds from the northwest between 15 and 35 miles per hour. High temperatures across the region spread throughout the 30s. Definitely a big difference than those 80s that we saw a couple of days ago. Winds right now aren't horrible, but like I said, going to see those sustained winds in the 20s up between about 20 and 30 miles per hour. Those gusts up to about 40 miles per hour, especially later on this afternoon and into the early nighttime hours and cool temperatures, strong winds. We're looking at some uh, pretty cold wind chills across the next 24 hours. Teens and 20s right now looking at teens later on heading into our Monday. For our weather headlines, what to expect tonight's going to be cold and snowy. Monday is going to be cold and windy. This week we have some more rain and snow chances ahead, but also a little bit of improvement with our temperatures. Looking at future track can see that uh, lull in precipitation right now, but as we head into the nine o'clock hour, looking to see that rain transitioning over to some snowfall continuing across the region through the afternoon hours. And those areas in blue looking to see a little bit heavier snowfall and that snowfall will continue through the evening hours should push off across most of the area by early Monday morning. However, still looking to see some areas along the Mississippi River Valley seeing that snowfall early Monday and continuing into Monday morning. But as we head into Monday afternoon, starting to see a little bit of even sunshine. For our snowfall forecast, overall we're looking at between 1 and 8 inches area wide. I know that is a wide uh, range of snowfall totals, but that is kind of where the system is going. Areas to the southwest looking to see less snowfall between about 1 to 3 inches. For us here in Rochester looking to see 2 to 4 inches and in areas along parts of the Mississippi River Valley. Winona 4 to 6 inches, La Crosse 4 to 8 inches, Caledonia between 3 and 5 inches. For upcoming precipitation chances looking at some more rain and chances for wintry mix ahead. For tonight, a low of 28 degrees. Snow continues, strong winds with gusts up to about 35 miles per hour. Those low temperatures across the region in the 20s and even some 30s. And for our Monday, it's going to be uh, cold and windy with gusts up to about 40 miles per hour. Still those high temperatures in the 40s and even some 50s, but with those strong winds, it's not going to feel like the 40s and 50s. For our extended forecast, we are looking at some sunshine for a Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures back into the 50s for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday before we have some more rain chances, some thunderstorm chances and some more chances for wintry mix for the week ahead before we drop those temperatures back into the 40s by next Friday and Saturday. Okay, a lot to a lot to break down there and a lot to look out for considering we had quite the warm week last week. Yes. I was in Des Moines just yesterday and the day before, got a nice little suntan <laughs> a little bit. It was beautiful out and then came back to this. Yeah. And here we are today. Yeah. I was looking at our old uh, meteorologist Amanda Morgan in Madison last night. It was still beautiful there and they're getting the cold coming their way mm -hmm. obviously, but it was just funny to see the change over uh just a short distance away. Yeah. How it was gorgeous and sunny, and we were like, I was walking into Target last night. It was freezing. And it was cold, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, a lot of stuff we'll be keeping an eye on. Is this how it was in Colorado, too, when it came to spring, or not quite? Yeah, the same system hit them a couple days ago. They had, I think, uh, between about three and eight inches of snow. Okay, okay. So, so I was originally from Colorado, so you're used to this, this chaos here come spring. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sawyer, thank you so much.